Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you a tweet by Matt Kingshard who suggests that enum classes, the PHP enum classes, don't have to be just the list of constants. They may have internal behavior, features, functions, and stuff like that. So the example of Matt, and I will show you a different example. For example, you have user role enum with associate and administrator. It may be more roles. And then you have special readable functions. Is administrator, yes or no? Is manager, yes or no? And then, for example, if you want to return the enum in some, I don't know, JSON response and API, you can provide some special structure inside of that enum. So the thing is that logic stays inside of that enum class for one of the solid principles, separation of concerns. And I will show you another example, which is task status. For example, you have tasks table, task model, which is status, just a string field or number field in this case. And then I'm casting that status to task status class, which is an enum. And then there are three options for the status. Not started, in progress, and done. And then, similarly to Matt's example, there's is not started, is in progress, and is done. And how do we use that? What Matt didn't show in his example, that's why I decided to kind of dig deeper into that topic with better example or more deeper example in the blade of showing all the tasks. For example, if you have task all and then the blade with the table, you can do something like this. So assign the CSS class as based on the function from that enum. So different tailwind class, and this is how it looks visually. So label with different color based on the status number. But that is not all. Also, there's get label text, for example, which you can also hide, kind of hide into that enum function. So get label text is depending on the value. It's not started in progress or done. And you can customize that again here, or maybe you can do that in language files somewhere. But again, the logic of that task status is inside of the same class and not in the blade or not in various blades. So for example, if you want to reuse that thing in API, in blade, in somewhere else, maybe in some service, you again have the logic in one place and not scattered all over your application. So that's get label text. And also there's another way, for example, I thought that maybe you shouldn't have those classes inside of the blade. Rather, you maybe want to have the HTML parsed also by that enum class. So I've gone one step further and created get label HTML. So another function, get label color and get label HTML. So two could be private or public functions of the enum class and then get label HTML forms the whole span of those classes with sprintf PHP function of get label color, get label text, and then get label HTML. So it's totally separating the concerns with what you want to get color, label, or the full HTML. The downside of that approach probably is around Tailwind because you need to add those classes to the Tailwind config. Otherwise, they are not automatically detected that they are in Blade because with that syntax, Tailwind automatically detects with Laravel that those classes should be compiled into the Tailwind final CSS. In this case, that will not happen, but you can get around that with actually adding those classes to your CSS. That's just another way of doing the same thing. But the overall message of this is that your enum can contain logic and not just the set of constants. What do you think? Have you ever used enums like this or maybe in your other example? Share your examples in the comments below. If you want more tips about Laravel and PHP, subscribe to the channel for daily videos. And if you want deeper, more structured knowledge and my lessons about Laravel in kind of a bigger format, there are two ways, premium tutorials and courses, which are both part of LaravelDaily.com. So these are the latest premium tutorials. You can browse around and these are premium courses, the latest ones, both available to premium members of LaravelDaily.com. So subscribe to yearly or monthly membership. And by doing that, you're supporting this YouTube channel because then I can keep shooting daily videos for free. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.